Hello IROS 2020, I'm Matthew Gamo, and on behalf of my colleague Philippe Marich and our advisors, I am pleased to present our work on inverse kinematics as low-rank Euclidean distance matrix completion. We are with the University of Toronto STARS Laboratory and the University of Zagreb's LAMOR. Given a model F of a robot's forward kinematics and a goal position or pose W in its workspace, the problem of inverse kinematics asks us to determine a set of joint angles theta that position the end effectors on the goal. When a closed form solution is unavailable, optimization based methods are commonly applied. Additionally, a variety of heuristic methods, like fabric, can be used. However, Rapidly and reliably computing this essential step in the motion planning pipeline remains a challenge for robots with many redundant degrees of freedom and complex branching structures. To address these challenges, we look to prior work on modeling kinematics with distances between points on a robot that are invariant or bounded under joint actuation. This distance geometric approach has been used in conjunction with algebraic solution methods on a variety of low dimensional spatial mechanisms. Our work formulates this description of inverse kinematics as a Riemannian optimization problem, allowing us to efficiently and accurately solve problems with many degrees of freedom. Our approach hinges on a symmetric matrix called a Euclidean distance matrix, or EDM. Given a set of n indexed points, the entry in column i and row j encodes the distance between the ith and jth points. For a simple two-joint planar manipulator with points fixed to its joints and end effector, we can describe the manipulator's feasible configurations with constraints on the corresponding EDM. For example, the fixed joint lengths correspond to exactly known elements in the EDM. Similarly, symmetric joint angle constraints become bound intervals on distances between points adjacent to the bounded joint. This relationship between kinematic constraints and EDM elements provides a procedure for transforming a broad class of inverse kinematics problems into partially known EDMs for a variety of manipulator types. Fixed length lengths provide exactly known distances, angular constraints provide bounded distances, and goal poses provide exactly known distances from end effector points to the robot's fixed base. Now that we've established a procedure for transforming a robot's kinematics into a set of constraints on distances between points, we will briefly summarize our approach for completing this partial Euclidean distance matrix. We use a recent approach for EDM completion that accounts for the low rank of our solution caused by the 2D or 3D nature of physical inverse kinematics problems. Since the distances between points are invariant to rotations and reflections, a solution is actually an equivalence class of all sets of points related by an orthogonal transformation. This approach uses optimization over the Riemannian manifold of all such equivalence classes. Combined with a standard procedure for extracting the angular configuration from this set of points, we have produced a full inverse kinematics pipeline. We have conducted a number of preliminary experiments that compare our method with a variety of algorithms on a number of common robots, including the UR10 and Akuka arm. These box and whiskers plots demonstrate that our methods, in blue and yellow, exhibit considerably lower position error on high degree of freedom planar tree manipulators. Our Python implementation also runs quite fast for an approach that has not been tuned for performance. In these plots, each row shows the convergence of a different algorithm on a toy 6 degree of freedom manipulator with position goals. Our algorithm is the only one that is able to reach the correct solution. The other three methods all converge to the same local minimum. Returning to our two-joint manipulator, we are also experimenting with the addition of spherical obstacles. This involves adding a new point for each obstacle and ensuring that the distance from the obstacle to each mobile point on the robot is bounded from below by the object's radius. The robot's immobile base has a known fixed distance from each obstacle. This approach is an elegant unification of a robot's task and configuration spaces, which we hope will lead to simple and efficient algorithms for com complex planning problems. Finally, we are looking into semi-definite programming approaches and algebraic methods for solving our distance geometric formulation of inverse kinematics. Thank you for your interest in our work. Be sure to keep an eye on our GitHub repository for further developments and code releases.